Ernie Davis and Joel Stevens, two names synonymous with football and greatness here in the Twin Tiers and beyond. So every year it's more than fitting to honor some great players alongside those names. For the first time ever, the Ernie Davis Award was given to three players at the annual banquet at the Elmira Holiday Inn. Elmira's Jerry McPeak, Horsehead's Glenn Watson, and Notre Dame's Tom Egan. They tied for the award, which is given out to the best player in the Elmira region. For the guys, making history was a dream come true. I feel real great. I feel happy. I can't. I, words can't describe what I, how I feel right now. A true honor to be like carrying the tradition of Ernie Davis and to bring this honor to our school. A huge honor to receive this award because Ernie Davis was more than a football player. He was a role model, and uh, everyone looks up to him. Now the Joel Stevens Award is given out to the player who exemplifies winning qualities in life on and off the field. Now Odessa's Lee Seidel is the winner and he's humbled. He was a good guy, good person from what I heard. Um, really classy and it's just a real honor to earn an award named after him. All right, could be some awards for this man when it's all said and done. Syracuse quarterback Ryan Nassib has been invited to play in this year's Senior Bowl which showcases the best in college football. Nassib got at the Cuse to a pinstripe bowl win and an 8-5 record, setting multiple passing records for the Cuse. Horseheads girls basketball is 0 for their last seven versus Binghamton. Throw some sectional losses in there as well. To the very same team, you build up a little thing called revenge. Raiders hosting the Pats second quarter to pick up the action. Jody Marie Rammel down low for Binghamton and up strong. Horseheads, they lead 24-19. Horsehead's fires back. Look at the second effort here from Jen Chalk. Off the rebound and good. She's tough. Trust me, she had plenty more from that. It's Chalk Talk all night long. She had 16 for Horsehead's 29-19 Raiders. And then after that, Tess Wicks, she had a game high 20 for the Raiders. And here's three big ones from her. Get the monkey off their back. Horsehead's, they win big 63-42. They're 8-0. Vestal hosting the Corning Hawks down there in Vestal Land. Golden, Bear, Golden Bears were hot. Melanie Patterson from downtown Julia Brown. It is good. Later in the first, Jen Shelp from the Vestal Parkway. Hopefully she hit up the A&W Long John Silver's combo store. Really good. Hush Puppies even better. She had 15 points. It's all Vestal tonight, 72-33. Big game down in Southport tonight. Odessa Boys at Notre Dame. Third quarter pick it up. Darius Garvin, strong tank, and it will fall. Crusaders lead by 10 later in the quarter. Morgan Shutter, it's plain, it's simple. Shut him down. He kept the Indians in this thing. Then great ball movement after that from ND. It's Jonas McCraig. Crusaders padding the lead to eight. Garvin finished with 29 points. And Notre Dame, they improved to 9 0. Their winners, 68 to 58. Out of town scores, Waverly top Spencer and Dryden all over Groton. And the Newfield boys, they blow up Tioga 51-32. On the girls' side, Waverly goes 10-9-0 themselves with a big win over Spencer. And Edison gets a win over Newark Valley down in Pennsylvania. Some more scores for you. Why losing topping Sarah tonight in Athens. They go to 8-0 with a big, big win over Troy.